Olivia, can I speak to you for a moment? Sure. Alone, if you don't mind, Alexandra. Mm. Of course. Thank you. It's about Lizzie. What about her? I'm assuming your offer to go to her play in Philipstead was a genuine one. Yes, of course it was. Good. Then I thank you for it. But Lizzie is under a lot of pressure. She's worried about remembering her lines, her costume isn't finished. And you think my presence will just add to it? Exactly. Hmm. I'll let her know that you didn't back out, that it was my idea. You know what, Beth? Whatever you want. Yeah, you're her mother. Good. And as long as we're on the subject, since we'll be living under the same roof, I think we need to get a few other things straight, too. I understand that you're upset with my daughter. She's done some terrible things to you. But she was also correct when she said you're no saint yourself. Yes, yes, I know. And according to you, I'm no more mature than Lizzie is. If you were, I wouldn't mind you dictating to my daughter the way you just did. But under the circumstances, I found it not only presumptuous, but rude. I wasn't dictating. So the next time you have the urge to bond with my daughter, I would appreciate it if you would run it by me first. And I'll offer you the same courtesy with your child. I'm sorry. I mean, if my conversation with Lizzie it was this upsetting to you, I, I really do apologize. I just thought that you of all people would appreciate someone being honest with your daughter for a change. 